So what is Tinder? Tinder is a dating app that allows users to find potential matches in their area. The app connects each user to his or her Facebook page to show age, interests, and mutual friends with other users. Um, users swipe right to denote interest or left to denote that they are not interested. And once matched, the app uh, gives a messaging interface for users to connect and get to know each other directly through the app. So as far as I can tell, there's two major uses of the Tinder app. So some people actually use it because they're looking for relationships or they're looking for their soulmate or whatever. And then some people use it because they just want to find someone to hook up with. Um, here's an interesting story that I found just doing a little research on Google about a couple that met on Tinder and actually ended up getting married. So the story is about Chris and Sarah Jane. You see the names here. These are the actual profile pictures um, from when they were using the Tinder app. Um, so they met. They messaged each other a few times and... Sarah Jane just randomly asked um, Chris if he wanted to go out to a basketball game. Long story short, they went to the basketball game. They had a blast. Um, they ended up seeing each other for a while, and they fell in love, I guess, and they got married. So as you can see here, this is a picture of when he um, just proposed, and this is a picture of them at their wedding. So as far as I can tell, there's um, a few major use uses for the Tinder app. Um, this is obviously, this is not a commonality. I found very few uh, stories about people that found love on Tinder and actually got together and got married. But this is a potential thing. You you can actually meet someone really cool that you that you match with on the app and start dating or even get married like Chris and Sarah Jane did. So this next part is a little bit vulgar, so I'll go ahead and warn you now. But um, after doing a little bit more research, I found that there are other ways to use Tinder. This next example just shows that how people use it to find other guys or girls that they can hook up with. So this is a blog I found called Confessions of a Tinder Whore. Um, as you can see, the blogger does not hold back. Um, she has a, also has a Twitter page, but she just goes out and talks about the escapades that she's had with different guys that she's met on, met on Tinder. Um, she has about 37 posts in 2014 alone. Um, I'm not sure if she's continued to update this blog at all, but um, some of the key points that I actually, I went through and read some of these and some of the key points I found were that she actually started out only hooking up and only talking to guys that she had mutual friends with and she would only meet them initially on, in public places. She honestly just found that that took too long for what her ultimate goal was, which was just to hook up. So she started messaging people that she had no mutual friends with and she just goes directly to their house or their apartment or wherever they live and they hook up and she says that if she can if she likes the guy and he doesn't get too clingy or ask her to be his girlfriend or whatever then they keep going if not then she's on to the next one and you can just look at some of the captions she has for for some of the matches and sex capades that she's had but this is just an example of someone that is obviously not looking to be like chris and sarah jane here she is just on Tinder to find someone to hook up with, and that's completely fine because the app is perfect for that. So after doing some research on Tinder and finding out how people use it and statistics on the app and its history and that kind of thing, I decided to go into Tinder and make my own profile and kind of do some hands-on research to find out more about the app. Um, so a few of the rules on my analysis, I kept the, co the profile completely fake. I got pictures from some random um, internet source. The only part that's the only part of the profile that's actually real is the age and then my location, obviously, because it is linked to my Facebook and my name. Also, I try to keep conversations that I have with people very basic. I didn't get any personal information such as phone numbers or addresses or anything like that because you didn't obviously don't want to take the project too far. And then finally, I didn't swipe right on anyone that I actually knew, and I made the distance of where I was looking at people to be about a hundred miles out. So there'd be a greater chance of me not actually knowing anyone that showed up on my swipe feed. So Tinder actually limits the number of swipes that you can do at a certain amount of time. So I went about five or six days of swiping right on just about everyone that I found as long as I didn't know the person. And I came up with about 80 matches. So out of those 80, I messaged a total of 31 people. And I just tried to analyze their profiles and their bios. And for any of the matches that I had that I actually was able to make conversation with, I looked at the conversation just to see the kind of things that they were willing to talk about and how deep and how forward or passive they were willing to be with the conversation. Uh, a few of the things that I found as far as traits, 
or 28 of the 31 profiles actually had selfies as their primary picture. Um, have a few theories on this. This might just be because they want to show their confidence and they're willing to take a picture of just themselves. Be that they're a little arrogant. There are several different reasons why a girl could have a selfie as a picture. Um, another common trait that I found in people's bios on Tinder was that five of the 31 girls did not have any bios at all. Maybe they want to seem mysterious or maybe it's a fake profile and it's someone doing another project similar to what I'm doing. Um, 15 of the bios or what I want to call witty. So they had maybe a funny joke in there. For example, one of the girls had Miley, what's good, which is a, a quote from the 2015 VMAs that Nicki Minaj made to Miley Cyrus. So she, maybe she's trying to find someone that keeps up with pop, pop culture and can kind of entertain her on that on that level. As far as messaging goes, so I tried a couple of different tactics. One were just saying, hey, with a smiley face emoji. Another one was using a pickup line. So obviously I'm not creative enough to come up with one of these on my own. So I went straight to Google and I found one that I thought was kind of funny. So I used the pickup line. I know this profile is fake, but can you tell me the name of the model you used for your pictures? So I sent that to five different girls. Uh, three out of the five didn't even respond, two did. Um, and I had, I guess, decent conversation with those two girls, as you can see on the screen. As far as messaging goes again, I didn't have much luck with girls that didn't have bios in their pictures. None of them actually ended up responding. So maybe that is a sign that if you don't have a bio in your Tinder picture, you're not an active user of it. You don't take it seriously or it is a fake profile or it's, a, it's spam or a hacker or something like that. Overall, I did have a lot of fun with this project. It was cool to dive into the Tinder world and see how people operate and what people's, I guess, points of view are and what their major objectives are in using the app. I think the application is cool. I think it is very conducive to the hookup culture that teenagers and college age students have today. So for that reason, it's definitely something that I could see being successful down the road. Um, it is a very different internet community and I'm glad I was able to kind of build this story up with this project.